bow down before my psycho power. Even though I knew the leak was real, I was still blown away by the reveal itself. What they did with Raven and also Azuzina is beyond expectation. First off, this stage is beautiful, bro. I want to point out these little symbols on the ground. It looks like the same exact symbols that Claudio summons. And then also we see Raven summon later on. This giant hand right here. It reminds me so much of Elden Ring. This whole stage just looks like Elden Ring. You have all of these weird like skeletal red eye creatures back here. They really give Raven kind of this like smoke noob cybot like type of like makeover and it, it really does a good job with the character. Witness the results of my training. So the whole reason he was removed in Tekken 7 and Master Raven showed up is because in lore it said that he was not good enough and Master Raven wanted to put him through some more training. That imbecile needs to be trained. So he did like a move that forces you in the crouch and then he did his stance right there. This reminds me so much of Jack 8. I was playing a lot of Jack 8 in the beta. Him doing this stance and then look at that, low. So yeah, same thing as Jack 8. You do some plus frame, whatever, and then you go into a stance. That's look like it's gonna be um, what this character's doing. See, look at that, look at this. He does the little low sweep, whatever, but then you have this shadow clone coming at the top, boom. Cracks the floor and you go down. You fall through like the ether. This stage looks like some Soul Calibur like madness. I can't wait to see like the full lore behind all of this. This stage looks crazy. Like you have a demon right there on a like a pillar. And then when I seen this part, bro, I was blown away. This stage is what I wanted to see for a very long time. So you have Claudia go for a low, Raven go for a high orbital, dash forward, teleports and then right here his shadow clone so i guess in heat his his shadow clone is orange and when he's not in heat it's purple here's something you guys may not have noticed but there is some like mystical figure or something sitting on the, that rock or that tree branch right there just the look of it i wonder if it's like someone's soul like trapped like Maybe it's Jen bound by all these chains and his soul is like being weighed down. There's so many different um, things we can say about this. You also have like whatever this is, two hands holding something that honestly looks like a portal of some sort. This is a, this is the rage drive. This is the rage drive that Master Raven has. His rage art surprised me. I was not expecting to see this thing in the sky with all these shadow clones. I'm gonna try to translate the words and see what they mean. This part was crazy, bro. This was like rich, like straight out of an anime. Straight out of an anime, but I love it. Okay, let's move on. Oh, and then he says, my ninjutsu has evolved to the next level. Like I said earlier, he was removed from Tekken 7 to work on his skills and it paid off greatly. Let's move on to the next character. I wanna review both of these characters in the same trailer. I'm gonna do an in-depth analysis about all of this stuff, stages, details, because this stage probably has huge ties to um, Ogre. So this character looks one, amazing, but two, like a combination of so many things. She has the hop and the skip that Lucky Chloe had, um, and it looks like this character is like a huge replacement for, for Lucky Chloe, but also it's like, there was some other stuff that I seen in there. Maybe Eddie has something, maybe Christine, I don't know. This is the crazy part, perfect blend. Although this is talking about coffee, seeing how this character has a lot of stuff in there as well, it, it seems like it's it's referring to more things. This character reminds me so much of uh, Street Fighter 6. And Street Fighter 6, this is something that I often said about them comparing it to Tekken 8. Street Fighter 6, the characters has so much more personality and life, but this character really shows that like Tekken 8 is not lacking in it at all. What this character was doing during the, the, the match, like this little stance, see like one, and then a weird like clap forward walking. He tries to grab, but he goes through her. So I don't know if the grab is what triggers this animation. She gets way down, way down. That's fire, bro. That is fire. Is in a low like hell sweep? If this was Tekken 7, that would have screwed, but it just knocks him away. Probably will wall splat. Did the little step forward again. This character has a lot of step forwards like that sideways again when the crowd seen this bro they were going crazy and so was i uh, oh my god had you kick and then dodged it dodged it this character is going to be really fun this character is going to be really fun who has this parry is it heiachi who has this parry 
Someone in Tekken has a parry, I think it's Heiachi, where you try to swing at them and then you both punch each other at the same time or something like that. I think it's Heiachi, but they tweaked this one to where now you don't even make contact and she just goes under and hits you. She fakes, sidesteps, back turned. I wonder, like, I wonder what happened. Like, it seems like if you keep attacking her, she'll keep moving. And then right here, right here, it seems like that's when you want to hit her. So you got to time that like very, very carefully almost. The hop goes into parries. This is gonna be a Hamrocks player worst nightmare. You see how she keeps going? She hopped and then she parried and then she did another parry. She keeps on going. So it seems like, even, and she moves to the left and right. So it seems like even if you keep on hitting her, she's gonna keep moving to the left and right and eventually you won't be able to track her anymore. And she's gonna do this. Break the stage and you go down. That symbol back there is a Mayan, um, symbol like aztec symbol all of these pyramids and stuff are like aztec so here she does heat into this huge look at that she's like clearing like oscar basically plus frames she does a stance temporarily and then dashes forward for the trade see the dancing like lucky chloe and then this part here was really cool. She had this interaction where she likes coffee, Lily likes tea, so these two are kind of like having a dispute over it, right? And this is so Lily. Lily did the same thing to Asuka. She ran into someone who had a difference in opinion, in opinion and she immediately started putting those, those long. And see, this time she did a walk forward. So she parry and then walk forward. She sidestepped all the way around Lily and then big launch from nothing a dash forward into a parry and this is the part here that looked like lucky chloe boom that's lucky chloe right there floor break you break it and it's green up there i don't know if they did that to just hide the transition or whatnot but you go down and then you have this like deeper level i'm gonna do some more research so stay tuned